Yeah, he um, obviously is a, a very hard man to get hold of. I'll just see if I can put you through to him because, you know, obviously, as I said before, he's a big name. He's got a lot of people interested, but I'll see if I can put you through to Stephen Connor. Giants fans, you wouldn't believe I don't know how to turn the phone off, but I've got him here myself. Somehow, he's even on the phone. Somehow, we've got another gig, Cogs. It's the 2014-15 season. We've got another gig. G1-G3's back. I love saying this, but bigger and better. I know, there was there was some talk of Ryan Griffin and Joel Patful taking over our reins, but we've managed to stuck in for another year. You know, it's all about development. Every year we get better, every year you get a little bit older. Jesus, you're young there. This time of year, sorry, is all about the young people. The young, fresh up-and-comers, like that young fellow there who got picked two in the 2011 draft, yes. Pass us back to some of your memories from draft night. Yeah, draft night. It used to be draft morning, Stephen, back in the in the glory days before they all got all the glitz and glamour that really came with you being drafted. You're that uh, old. I'm that old. Fortunately, got drafted somehow. Pick 110, I was, Stephen. Um, yeah, how about your draft night? Yours was a bit had a bit more fanfare about it from memory, like a lot of head wobble. <laughs> Don't know. I just I just remember, remember picturing you just sitting up in the stands, asleep, strutting around. But I remember that night in particular because. All before the tour, it was all about this Conigolo fellow. I'm like, who's this Stephen Conigolo? I've never heard of him. Where's he from? And, you know, it's between him and uh, him and John Patton for the biggest uh, the ego off to see you got picked number one, and you missed out. Uh, enough muck around. Let's uh, get stuck into it. Fortunate enough to be joined by at Tommy Bug. At Tommy Bug, how are you? Very good. Thanks for having me, Phil. This week on Thursday night, it's the, uh, the draft, the national draft. Do you remember your draft night? And what pick were you? Yeah, no, I didn't have a draft night, uh, Phil. I got uh, a bit of a different process from there. What happened? Uh, I got signed as a as a 17 year old for the Giants, so I didn't have to go through. So you don't have a draft number next year? Nah, but and yet you're allowed on an AFL list. That is correct. <laughs> Obviously, Cogs was taken pick to in a compromised draft because a lot of the good players like yourself were taken out. But what pick would you have got? Oh, mate, I got no idea. Put Gubby, a number on it. Gubby said I probably would have gone just before Cogs. So. <laughs> as you said. Um, you got signed by the Giants a year early. Does that mean you got paid for a whole year and just went to school in Melbourne and spent money? Um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of talk floating around Giants HQ as well about a what bugs me, what bugs me segment. So um, within G1 and G3 or your own show? No, I think it'd fit in nicely here, Phil. It's a real fan base kind of activity, so. We'll, uh, we'll get him to tweet in. And what's, what's been bugging you so far? Probably Shane Mumford. He's uh, just come back and he just doesn't shut up in the gym. It's not good. What bugs me? <laughs> tick, tick. Giants fans, another special surprise for everyone at home. All the viewers at home, we've got our runner-up, Phil, and our best and fairest, oh. Mr. Seven Smith. Dev, thanks for uh, joining us on the show. Nah, thanks for having me, guys. It's, an, it's another year uh, for G1 and G3. Are we surprised that we got another year? No, no, I really like the show. I think it's starting to take off and um, I don't know, maybe G10 can get a gig one day. How about a fishing segment? Yeah, no, I think we did one last year, but there'll be plenty more this year and hopefully big Gary Griffin can get on board. How's he fit in? Yeah, oh, he's, he's fitted in like a glove, really. Um, him and Jez compare who shoots bigger pigs and whatnot already. Um, I don't know, them two. I've seen him hit it off a fair bit already, so no, he's been good. I think Gary was a, a pick three in the draft, Dev, and that's what we're talking about, was he? I can actually tell you the top six of that, top five of that draft. We'll, we'll say that for another episode. Or oh, maybe the end. Delidio but, um, was pick one. Delidio. Buddy was in that Rough one. Rough was pick two. There you go. Um, Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> another draft uh, for the Giants up on the Gold Coast. Who's your, uh, who's your pick one? I'm hoping Paddy McCann doesn't go pick one. He slides out to us on pick four. Um, I actually told him to tell St. Kitt who's an alcoholic, but uh, I don't think he's going to do that. Obviously, we were the same draft. Take us back to some of the... Uh, the memories of that night, and who was more arrogant, Phil or Callum Ward? <laughs> I want to say Callum Ward. I don't think he knew my name for six months, and he, he still tries to deny it now. It'd be Cal, so. But I called him Callum for uh, the first year, and he doesn't like that, so it's actually Callum, so. Is it? Yeah. Huh. Pick 14 in a compromised draft, so realistically, you're probably about pick 30. Um, does that bug you? No, I think we, we got some big steers like Jeremy Cameron, Trelaw, Shield, the list goes on, so. I don't know. At the start, I probably wish they were in it, so I could have stayed in Melbourne. But now I'm loving it, so no, nah, it's been a good. It's worked out for the best. Well, Dev, thanks for joining. Obviously, you chose the location. Fan mail. Fan mail. Awesome. Just uh, going through Stephen's, uh, just his letterbox there. But 
Stephen, you got a bit of fan mail you might want to attend. As you can see, guys, I'm uh, as bare as they come, so don't be afraid to write me a letter. We're off to a, a cracking start, mate. Um, G1, G3 is back. Got the draft tomorrow night. Hopefully, get three or four or five youngsters tomorrow that can play some footy, mate. What have we got? Four, six, and seven. Well, what pick was Ryan tomorrow? Griffin? Ryan Griffin was pick four. Three. <laughs> three. Three. I better learn that. I better learn uh, that. It's yeah. like you will pick three. See, I should remember that. You and <laughs> you and uh, Griffin were both the same pick. Anyway, still the same as last year. Tweet, Facebook, Instagram. Any questions? Who you want to see on the show? Use an owl. If you want, what bugs me on the show, if you want anyone else. A fishing show, as you can see, it's all happening here in Giants land. We're looking forward to another big year and get on board. Go Giants.